When someone gets diabetes, their blood sugar levels are higher than normal. Insulin, a hormone secreted by the beta cells of your pancreas, signals to the various cells of your body. It could be your muscle cell, it could be your fat cell, it could be your liver cell. These cells receiving that signal take up sugar from your blood and keep it as storage within the cells for future use as a fuel for various metabolic processes. There could be a lack of insulin or the insulin that we make, our bodies are not utilizing that. That's called insulin resistance. And this precipitates diabetes. There are two kinds of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. In type 1, there is a lack of insulin made by the pancreatic beta cells. And in type 2, the body does not utilize the insulin that we make. Insulin, a hormone made by the pancreatic beta cells, sends signals to the cells of your body to pick up sugars from the circulation into the cells for storage as a fuel to be used later for various metabolic process. The main reason as a cause for type 1 diabetes is autoimmune. When your immune system that is making antibodies to fight bacterial or viral infections starts to make antibodies against the islet cells of your pancreas, the islet cells get destroyed. And as a result of it, the insulin production by these cells is affected. The insulin levels in your bodies fall and you get type 1 diabetes. There are a few other causes of type 1 diabetes, which could be genetics or environmental. The most common symptoms of diabetes are frequent urination, excessive thirst, excessive hunger, weight loss without any intervention, numbness and tingling of your toes and fingers, dry skin, itching. But always remember that these symptoms might lag the blood sugar levels by various time frames. Your sugar levels might have been high for quite some time before these symptoms show up. It is important to check your sugars routinely. You could do it once a year or twice a year, depending on your family history. The earlier you find out if your sugar levels are higher, the earlier you can have interventions and be able to reverse this condition. The most effective way to treat diabetes is by lifestyle modification. The other conventional methods of treatment for type 1 is injectable insulin and for type 2 we have oral medication or insulin depending on your blood sugar levels. Diabetes reversal by definition is the return of your glycated hemoglobin or A1C to less than 6.5% without medication for a period of three months or longer. Metformin is excluded from this definition. You could be on metformin and if your levels go under 6.5%, you have reversed. Diabetes is known as a chronic progressive disease in which over time, your sugar levels continue to go up. You might need more and more medication. Sometimes you might end up into insulin. Your body stays fatigued and your vital organs start to get affected very soon too. This does not need to happen. We just have to change the course of this disease, a course towards reversal. By better lifestyle modifications, by good nutrition, exercise daily, sleeping well, you could change the course of this disease towards reversal. If you have brought glycated hemoglobin levels to less than 6.5% and you are feeling stronger and healthier without medication, you have changed the course of this disease. This is diabetes reversal. There are many advantages of staying reversed or keeping your glycated hemoglobin under 6.5%. You are stronger, healthier, you're sleeping better, your work performance improves, your relationships get better, and most importantly, the beta cells of your pancreas 
regenerate and become healthier.